I'm sorry when we're live now. And we're live. Yay, we are here. So mm -hmm. welcome everybody. Today I am joined by Fiona Campbell from Fiona Campbell Nutrition. And I'm so excited to connect with you. I know that we've met each other in person before, um, but we've never had an in-depth conversation. But I think in the past year, you know, I've been watching what you're sharing and I thought it'd be a really good time to come together and have this conversation. And we're talking about stepping into who you are. And so a little background, both of us have trained in the College of Natural Nutrition with Barbara Wren. So we are both students of hers. So in that way, it's, it's great to be able to reconnect with you now today and hear about your journey and also share this message with people who need to hear it. So thanks for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure. So lovely to see you and to have this chance for a, con for a conversation. So. Yeah, so give me a little background. So how did you end up getting into nutrition and studying in the, in the College of Natural Nutrition? What, what led you to that? Um, what led me to that was just different health situations throughout my life at different times. I was an actor back in the, when I was young, um, yeah. young, young actor, dancer, all of that. But really plagued by um, not just a lack of confidence, but also eczema really badly, okay. um, sometimes asthma. Others, I had also had arthritis as, as a child. So there were different things that kind of, um, in fact, when I was 11 and I had, um, I had rheumatoid arthritis and I was passionate about dancing. And I remember walking into a health food shop and picking up this book that said that blackstrap molasses could be really good for arthritic conditions and I remember you know giving it to my mum and she bought me a big jar and I went home and took that every day for about three weeks at that time I was on something like eight aspirins a day for the pain and, wow. the, and the inflammation and everything and um within a few weeks of having that the whole lot had so it had really re rejuvenated revived me helped to give me something that was missing could be a number of things but that really was the beginning of my um passion really to always want to find a natural solution to help my body when it was you know struggling can't always do it but or haven't always been able to do it but um the yearning to do it is, is was always there so then I had a, a career as an actor for a little bit and was you know had eczema pretty badly um and that would really get in the way because you know when you've got a camera on you and you speak you know you're going out into the you know on a stage or in front of a camera and you've yeah. got awful affliction on your face which is where which is where it was for me then it that my confidence was would hold me back so that was a real conflict mm -hmm. of energy for me and, and and where I was going and then had children that was another sort of um created another issue for health so lots of different kind of underlying things that were that that would pop up at different at challenging times for my body really um, and then once I had the children, I wanted to really study, study nutrition. I actually studied uh, for, the, for three years. I studied at the um, Institute for Optimum Nutrition at ION for three years mm -hmm. and got very stressed, very tired, um, quite overwhelmed with the children and the, the level of work and mm -hmm. just was, was kind of buckling, not really doing too well. Did all right with the written work, but, uh, uh, you know, not with so much. The It was just getting a bit much. And then I came across Barbara's college someone sent a link to me I had a look and oh my goodness talk about when something just hits you and resonates and she spoke so much or even just on her website at that time just the, the language it used the speaking about what stress can do and how we really want to be open and expanded in creating health and stress would contract us and just so much that she said mm -hmm. and then I that was it I was I was a, I would say a devotee but absolutely really yeah I think she's fantastic and her work is wonderful and I, I think now in this current time I appreciate her work and having spent those years learning with her and it took me a long time you know I'm not naturally academic where I absorb information very quickly and mm -hmm. it just goes in I have to really have things repeated and, yeah. and you know to build the yeah connection oh, yeah yeah so um yeah that's so and then once I found her that was it I've, I've you know like I said it took me a while to get through but then I finished the course finished the the learning 
you know, in that context. And and since then, I've just been I've been working with people, not full t- not fully all the time, but um, you know, along the side, alongside other work and alongside yeah. love. But that's how I kind of got got ended up with her, and it's just the best thing ever. I'm so grateful. And we were saying before we started recording that like one of her first lectures and one of her first teachings was, you know, the biggest stress is not being who you are. Absolutely. And, and I think, and I'm, and I'm sure you probably experienced that in the, the past year. Yeah. That there's this huge, like, the divide, you know, that yeah. between people who believe in, say, germ theory, who are believing in what's happening. Yeah. To those who have gone on different journeys through different avenues and have explored like ter- terrain theory and understanding yeah. like it's actually the conditions of the body yes. that you know create health and interact with yeah. viruses and pathogens in in ways that is is really flipping the the onus onto our own personal responsibility yeah. as opposed to like the outside or governments having control over that absolutely yes yes and also i think one of the things that's so straightforward about uh, about understanding the the, uh, and looking at the body and health in terms of the terrain is understanding the connection of every you know that everything is connected and to look to ourselves for health Mm -hmm. it doesn't and and really not being too far away from what's common sense and somebody you know when you understand the way a virus what a virus is or how it may be transmitted and then see whether how not getting in the fresh air, not connecting with people. Um, you know, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not hearing an awful lot of good advice for health coming out of that germ theory world. Yeah, no. You know, we, should, no. we, we, are, pe- we are beings that need to connect mm-hmm. and we need fresh air, we need sunshine, we need good quality food, simple, simple things. Yeah. Some of them are free <laughs> and yet yeah. that's not what's... It, it, it's, it seems to have lost its madness and yet people yeah. are believing that they need to wear a mask and need to be separate and need to follow these people that are not giving any good advice about health. I so know. It, it, it's just, it's not that complex in a way. I mean, it's, it's, it is, it is because it's complex with what's gone on behind it to lead to this time now. I know, yeah. But, but it's almost like it was, to me, like my understanding is that it's always been there but now it's 10 times in our faces. Like it's exaggerated, yeah. like tenfold. It's like, okay, this is where you are collectively. Yes. Do you know? Yes. And, yeah. um, you know, for me, I would look at things from obviously looking at it like physically, but also like metaphysically. Yeah. What's, what's happening kind of underneath the surface. And and for me, it's it's a real call to, like, as we're saying today, like stepping into who you are. Yeah. A call for us to actually create new ways and, to give people that confidence yes to actually explore that journey for their for their own self yes yes and know that the answers are if you could just switch off the telly switch off go mm-hmm. away from the go away from all the bomb, the bombardment of information and i'm sure there's misinformation on, on all sides everywhere mm-hmm. you know whichever world but if you could just go back to how do i feel what is this how do i feel what what do i feel is the right thing to do and really get in touch with that from a from a from an empowered place that that's that's health giving and that's stepping into who you are and that's that's where the truth is Mm -hmm. surely yeah you know yeah and you yeah exactly because we have that connection it's always you know we're we're born with that connection but sometimes we kind of we forget about it or we've had a lot of trauma or stress that's kind of yeah cloud clouded our ability to hear ourselves yeah 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 absolutely but also I think you know the fear of the virus and I was actually reading um rereading one of Barbara's books actually I think last night actually it was yeah and I was just reading a little passage a part of the section on you know if bacterial activity is is suppressed that what happens then is we get viral activity happening within the cell and that's when it's more threatening to the health so I find you know people are aff- affected by the virus in so many different ways yeah. but I think if you've had a lot if you've had a history of a lot of suppressive treatments like a lot of antibiotic use then then if your body does contract employ the virus whichever way you you you, you see it yeah when it's when it's active in the system 
that when your body has been suppressed that you're going to run into more difficulties and the body yeah. you know creating this kind of long-term post-viral fatigue that I, I, I see in quite yeah. a few people yes yes yeah. no that's that is true yeah yeah. But again, it's for me a message of like how far we have come so disconnected from nature, from our own nature. Yeah. And from nature. Yes. That this is happening. You know, that it's like whether whichever way you're looking at it, it's 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 happening because it's like, okay, look, this is a kind of this is a a warning. Yeah. Do do we want to keep progressing in this way or do we want to take it as a as a warning to like radically change our own lives individually yeah. really that, that's the only control yeah and power that we do have is to to create that change in our own life yeah it is and at the moment it's it's not an easy place to be because no. the room out there is so is, loud it's so loud isn't it so it's yeah. so connecting with like-minded people is so so important to reinforce that confidence and that courage to yeah to to then make choices that you that you resonate with and um yeah absolutely uh, yeah and I liked as well because I, I think last year I felt very much like an activist you know I was kind of wanting yeah because yeah, I, I was watching your page and I was like oh you're in, you're on fire <laughs> I, was, I was absolutely yeah and then <laughs> and then I think uh, and I really was I was I felt like you know Joan of Arc kind of I yeah. was sort of lay down and you know, put my line in the sand, this is how I feel. And yeah. my passion is still there. But I really like what, um, we had a conversation, I think over, over Messenger a few weeks ago and, or maybe it was over on Facebook, I'm not sure, but it was that, that sort of almost, okay, now is, rather than fighting against what is, which is where mm -hmm. a lot of my energy was going. Yeah. In a sense, I was probably, I, was, I, was, I wasn't looking at what I'm creating other than fighting at what is and what I wasn't mm -hmm. happy with and what I did, you know, and I, yeah. Was, Sort of shout to the world something else yeah. um so yeah i think now i'm much more in a time of okay what am i gonna what am i gonna create you know the old structures i, I don't really want much to do with it but i yeah. do i do want to see a new world with health where yeah. people are empowered they're supported they're encouraged they're given good advice that's there's no harm at least there's no you know that the hippocratic oath isn't there do yeah. no harm and and more than that you know life enhancing and so yeah m my focus more now is 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 more on the the activist is still there but the volume's gone down a little bit and more yeah. creating the new yeah i'm the same yeah it's new for me you know i'm still creating yeah well that that's the thing and that's that's where our power is and i think um for you and for everyone listening that it's like you know you're looking at say what you don't want but, but then fighting against that is just it's just keeping that in it's perpetuating it yeah but I think it's also a valid part of the process of you kind of coming into yourself as well yeah you know that, that that's that's the stage that you kind of have to go through to like burn off yeah rage and frustration and you know all that stuff has to come through yeah and then it's like okay right now what like what's the next step what yeah. what's what do I do from here yeah. Um, and so for me, it's like the intensity of looking at something in the world that I'm like, that's not what I want. That's not what I stand for. That's not what I believe. OK, but I can't just point the finger and say that's wrong. What what can I do? Like, what can I create that I do want? Yeah. Like inspired by what you don't want. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like, OK, if that's that's happening. That's there. What can I now create? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, which, I, yeah, which, and, and interestingly enough, I think when we step into that place, I mean, I've, you know, coincidentally, but of course not, have connected with people much more like minded now, which is a mm -hmm. wonderful reinforcement of, again, we know this with, free, you know, whatever yeah. our frequency is, um, but are connected with a lovely person in my area. Um, and we've created a group uh, on Facebook called My Beautiful Brain for people suffering with depression or just feeling isolated or feeling low, feeling down. Yeah. And it, it, it's a group that, you know, you know and, and we're just giving tips and resources and, and sharing. We're all, you know, it's, it's, it's not, I, and it really is sharing. It's when I'm low, what do I do? This is what I do. And I know that it, it can help me. So how yeah. can, and maybe it will help, you know, the person there. So that's a really lovely thing to be doing. And 
and so rewarding and just and I just yeah it's just more and more of that isn't it so that yeah. that volume goes up on all those exactly on those things um, yeah. while the blaring still comes in from out there but my focus is is changing yeah but I think that that's where the the challenge is I suppose isn't it it's like it's so loud it's so like all consuming that it takes huge discipline and also mm-hmm. belief in your own self to go okay I'm not gonna wait for that to sort itself out yeah I'm gonna step over here to the side yeah and I'm actually gonna start creating something altogether new just you know step by step tiny little brick fiber you know just yeah. it's, it's not like a big event it's just small little steps and before you know it and yeah. and I think and I think for me and I you know being called in to say working with Barbara and understanding about like cellular awakening and you know being able to activate your light body and all, all of these things that it's like that life wants to evolve through us all yeah Do you know that it's like but it's, it's about taking our position and just showing up to it not 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 knowing like just being in the unknown yeah and just allowing it because it's like your unique part my unique part like we're all so needed and the more that we actually all step in we strengthen each other and we we strengthen that that field of what we're co-creating together definitely definitely yeah we really do yeah we, whereas for years I, I don't know if you felt like this but like kind of in between two worlds and like not knowing you know that kind of like oh I'm not sure because what's out there I can't see yeah you know kind of hanging back in in the safety of the known and absolutely yeah but that's a process isn't it to kind of go through it's it's scary it it really is because we've all got those well you know I've got voices that are like oh you can't do that and what this point in life and yeah the other side that knows that that's just a limiting little sort of you know demon not demon but you know that that let that lesser self that self yeah the the smaller self yeah (laughs) smaller self (laughs) I remember my mom said to me get like a little lego person and have that like as as the part you know the voice that's like you can't do that and can I just look look at it and just be like that's ridiculous you know it's just you know we we all we all have that but I think um the only way the only way for that to turn down in the same way as the that stuff that we see out there to turn down is just to get into it and just be immersed in it yeah absolutely so that's the only way for me anyway the more I think about it the more I'm like oh I can't possibly do that it's too hard you know but just doing it just you kind of just yeah and I, yeah and every little thing you do in the day it's like today I had to write a little a little piece um for our for our um for our group which was great and it really it reminded me that actually I'm not doing some of the things that I'm <laughs> yeah. Recommending. yeah and so it's it, it everything is it's all just reinforcing you know yeah. I love seeing that when you go in the cold water I think that's such a great thing for your spirit apart from physically you know it's yeah. incredibly stimulating for the immune system and 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 everything else but doing things that are that that you know a, 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 I don't know like a cold shower or something that makes you think yes I can do this I can that brings yeah. out the principal warrior that we yeah all- yeah and that's and that's the thing that you have to be in like training with us for it to become stronger and to be like what you were saying before we came on to become more embodied yeah that yeah you're really, you're really like living it living. and embodying it yeah that it's yeah. not you know it's no longer just like a theory or something that you're learning or, or that you're just yeah. studying that you're actually that you're applying it and yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why that's why I think the stepping into it and expressing it and sharing it and teaching it and all these things strengthen it they absolutely do because I've been strengthened by listening, especially over the last year, because I've had so much time to uh, and this way of communicating and, you know, watching roundtables or other people having live conversations. There are certain people. I mean, do you know Sasha Stone? For example? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, he talk, when he talks, he absolutely, you know, his his sort of style and mannerisms at times really brings out a certain part of me, and so there. Yeah. And we can all do that. You know, we can all yeah have a different effect we will have a different effect on people that we listen to that we oh, completely and you think of like all those people and it's like what you might think oh I've had all these teachers but it's like you are also that teacher yeah we are all teachers and students of yeah. each other and you I know, think so it's so much nicer than thinking because I do often think oh, well I don't know and I can't re- you know can I really step forward into this space do I know enough do I know you I know, know. We, really all, we, know we all we all think that like we all think that 
Who, 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 am I, who am I to say it? No, what if they ask me this question? Actually, what's the answer to that? And then suddenly feeling like, yeah, oh, just like, just like, and I, I really like what you said earlier, you know, just that we're all doing it. It's, it's a collective journey. Yeah. It's a yeah, collective exactly. journey towards freedom, towards a, just a, a much more true way of being. We're not meant to be suppressed and contracted. And I know. Yeah. Being in this system in this way. And even if we just know that, we don't know how it's going to look and how we can create it differently the just trusting that somehow that that feeling can be like can be like a guide can't it oh completely it's like a, it's like a comp comp compass yeah. but it really is um i suppose it's coming into like your self mastery isn't it like yeah. and i and i think the the fear of that is when you're in the early stages of that like who am i to be this person but it's like you never become the master unless you are like the humble student and you don't need to have all the answers you don't need to proclaim that you have all the answers but that you're you're dedicated to the journey and that you'll find them as you go yes yes you know so it's like even if somebody asks you that question i don't know that answer right now but i'll i'll go yeah, and find I, I, i'll go I, and find it definitely and that yeah that's not so scary it's just the yeah but again that's that little i should get a little lego <laughs> yeah i swear to god i had the lego men and i'd be looking at it laughing away because for so long i think because we're so not trained in society to to explore the unknown yeah you know everything is like you go to school you get a job you get married you do you know everything is the known mm -hmm. and so anything outside of that our mind our body everything perceives that as so so threatening yeah. whereas i think now in the space that we're in we're just being thrown into the unknown so we're here so we may as well like embrace this time for like the ability to create from nothing yeah so that's what the, the gift of this time is it's if we gift. look at it yeah like that. Absolutely. And this time that we have, most of us, you know, are at home a lot of the time. Yeah. There's, there's more time to invest and to really step into that passion and into that completely inspiration of what, you know, yeah, and, you know, if not now, when? I was, li I was literally, I was just thinking <laughs> that I was like, if not, if not now, when? You yeah. know, like, because I suppose the, the intensity of the old system as such is kind of like pushing us out because we're like no this is not what we want this is not what we want we we, yeah. we do not you know want our future to be like this yeah so in a way it's like using that energy as opposed to like oh when will life go back to normal using that as the momentum to go yeah. this is behind me now because i can't i can't go back no i wouldn't I have, want to go back i i have to i have to leap and trust yeah that something new is 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 coming through yeah. and that you've been trained and prepared and you've been given all the right information and all the right tools and they will continue to appear yes. as, as you progress yeah on, on yeah. that but I think it's um it's just not hanging back and just going yeah. okay I'm gonna go yeah. all in this year yeah. 2021 is the time because it is this big divide you know we see it in in the consciousness of people that you meet yeah. and it's like one person is in one world and the other person is in another world and Absolutely we're not we're not once you have awakened within yourself you can't go back you can't regress yourself no you know absolutely you can't and I think what I'm finding now as well like you was like you were saying about last year I was very much in a certain world and you know lost a couple of lost friends because of my views and and all the rest of it but now I feel that okay I might be in this world that person close to me um is in that world but my love for that especially when it's family and i know very yeah. i just feel now the most important thing is and i think this is a maturity in me from or, or part of that journey that, as well is that more importantly than whether okay they may make a decision that i'm I, I wouldn't make that decision and i would rather they didn't make that decision but i have to respect their right to make that decision and yeah. bigger than even that is that i love that person and that they're in my life and i want them i want us to have a harmonious relationship so it's not about anybody compromising but it is about rem not also because i've also seen a lot of there's so much slander on both sides yeah there you is know, yeah uh, you know you know if you if you're if you're on one camp then people see you aggressively and it's the same in fact it's the same on both yeah it can be the same on both sides but i think it's we we really are all in this together and it's that thing of connecting where we can we may not be able to connect over certain viewpoints but we can certainly connect because we're human and there's a lot of suffering and we can unite yeah as much as we can and, as and as we can. Can't, then we, we just agree to mm -hmm. 
perhaps not go there in conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But bigger than that is the fact that, you know, so just that sort of innate, that care and that innate love and respect for people. Yeah. But I think what, what is a tricky thing for a lot of people is they kind of know this and have been on this journey themselves, but they haven't necessarily put it out there, like publicly, say. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's, where, that's where it's tricky because I think, yeah, it's just... It is, it is a hard place to navigate. Yeah, yeah, it is. But, but I think, I suppose in a way, for me, I learned so much from the Girl Against Glory campaign with like fighting against the system and really putting myself out there and really being in the firing line of, you know, all the stuff. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I think what I've learned, I suppose, is instead of, instead of going on about what you don't want. Yeah is actually to talk about what you do want and yeah. so in a way you're you're not hitting people's belief systems yeah but straight on you know you're indirectly yeah. saying it but you're you're basically saying it without saying it yeah you know in, indirectly and when I studied metaphysics it was like you know being able to create any change without like uh, enforcing your will on on life and your environment mm -hmm. that's is actually is, is is to not create not like to try and directly change something but to create indirect change and I was like oh that makes so much sense that's making a lot of sense that when you challenge the matrix anyway it like it will fight back so if you challenge it directly you're going to get like all the stuff back so yeah. whereas you can you can still put that forward but in a different way and I think it's 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 doing it in that way that you're going to be a little bit more more confident to actually share in that way yeah and also less drained because it oh yeah. my god it's so exhausting <laughs> going into and yeah, this yeah. and i send you this and they send these links and blah blah blah, and it's just never ending and it's just like don't go there yeah 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 no absolutely because it's 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 exhausting battering yeah. against it. what you know isn't you know that you that you don't want or you don't like or you don't agree with etc or that you're against so yeah i think it's a cons conservation of energy and and resources and creativity and everything to, to yeah. just turn away and yeah. and build create where yeah. you can. and and i think to, to to share with people you know i think everyone is called in different places some people are called to be very vocal and that's their kind of role to be like to agitate and to kind of like rile yeah. people up and then other ways you can you can create um really being able to just connect with people like one-on-one -on -one or whatever way yeah. that you are yeah you know creating spaces that you're connecting with people but i think it is about sharing now with people who have similar energy yeah similar resonance so that it's not like a drain it's actually like you're actually like us talking you know we're actually creating energy yeah together yeah as, as we're speaking and as we're conversing yeah um and so yeah i think that's the kind of new way of creating change is like is actually resonating out our uniqueness and then finding people who are similar and then we're actually co-creating together it's not that you're doing it on your own it's like we're yeah. collaborating together and it is and it's that 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 light or that truth or that resonance just yeah building and getting bigger and stronger and louder and yeah in unity definitely yeah yeah oh it's 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 great this is lovely it's great to have this conversation because I already feel myself you yeah. know energized and reinforced with or reinforcing in a in the right way it's lovely absolutely so what would be your vision for this year 2021 and what you're what you're creating oh wow well I mean my vision absolutely would be what because I haven't done it yet you know so it's a vision which is exactly what we've been saying which is to create a situation a situation where I don't you know I don't go into a day job do you know what I mean to yeah. sort of pay the bills and you know and I'm able to support my life support myself and my, my situation through what I'm what, what I'm passionate about and what I love and that is through empowering other people and being more empowered empowering others in their health in their life in their and also you know continuing continuing to learn and be more confident in what I know and can share mm. so really that's that's yeah that's one of uh, one, as one aspect of oh, oh. Sorry, that's <laughs> what's your doggy called again it's called milo milo oh milo wait, wait. Milo, got, quick look this is oh him. yeah hi milo oh you is, is he a bichon he's a schnoodle 
Oh, schnoodle, sorry. They're very similar, the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, so what's a schnoodle? Uh, uh, schnauzer and poodle. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. the mix, the mixes are so funny now. Like the yeah. names are actually hilarious. Yeah, schnoodle. I mean, what schnoodle. have you got? You've got a little Sophia, haven't you? Hi, Sophia. Come here to me. Come here. She's just here. Come over and say hello to everyone. Before we have a lovely, is he a little boy? Your doggy? Boy, he's three years oh, yeah. old. Oh, Sophia is three as well. Oh, look. Oh. Sophia, look at that doggy. Sophia. Say hello to Sophia. <laughs> 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 they'll start they'll start they'll start barking no like lunatics but you know yeah, so these, funny. these bring such joy don't they I think oh my god they're amazing you know they they bring a lot of healing and a lot of joy um so yeah we have, we have to get it where we can as well don't we you know what i mean you know oh completely yeah wow. well i think i think i think to create anything new you have to be in a good space like energetically yourself yeah Do you know so you have to Get yourself. We have loads of dogs. They're all barking now because Happy is barking downstairs. The pup. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, absolutely. And it's um, yeah. I think it's it's time. It's definitely time. Oh yeah. This is the time to take that leap, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's exciting. Yes, very, very. So let everybody know where they can find you and connect with you. Okay, I've got a website which is um, uh, Fiona Campbell Nutrition .co .uk. There is a yep. .com, but I'm .co .uk, Fiona Campbell yep. Nutrition. Um, and I'm on Facebook. Um, my own personal page is Fiona Campbell. Um, and then I've got a nutrition page as well, Fiona Campbell Nutrition. So, and, and if you'd like to uh, have a look at the beautiful, my beautiful brain on Facebook as well, that's. Oh, yeah. Uh, specifically focusing on on depression um anxiety yeah, and especially at the moment with the isolation that's going on for a lot yeah. of yeah so it's a private group but anybody's welcome to if it if, if, you know to approach and to, to yeah to join wonderful oh thank you so much Fiona it's been so lovely to connect with you and well reconnect after many years yeah like and yeah, yeah it's so, so lovely to see what you're doing and stepping into more of who you are and as i am as well and encourage others to, who are on the the journey themselves to yeah. have more confidence to take those leaps definitely will you very much encourage me as i watch you over the you know it might be weeks and months of dipping in on you know, yeah. instagram or facebook or something and it's yeah it's lovely it's really lovely we're all we're all yeah great team wonderful i know it's really good thank you okay thanks William fiona thank you Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.